I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go over the present time, how they see you, the person you're dealing with, how you see them and why it's all happening. So, Cancer. In the recent past, we have chemistry. And chemistry, it reads, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. Chemistry is also paired with choice. And on the flip side of choice, it reads, for every action, there is a reaction. So choose wisely. So in the recent past, there was probably someone that you, you were very fond of. The chemistry was powerful. It felt so good just to be in their presence. It was a strong, magnetic attraction in the recent past. So you knew that with this choice card that any action that you made in this connection or towards this person, um, it w there would have been a reaction. So you made sure that you uh, made your choices wisely towards this person or like I said towards the connection or whatever situations that came up because you really liked this person and you didn't want to make wrong choices. Uh, you wanted this chemistry to last for as long as it could. So you, you chose your actions wisely in the recent past and there was a beautiful connection there. Beautiful. Not everyone gets to experience such a strong magnetic attraction that feels so good. And that's what you had in the recent past, Cancer. So let's move on over and take a look at the present time. We have Eight of Pentacles and Three of Swords. So to explain the Eight of Pentacles, it's about necessary efforts. You probably have a lot on your plate that has to be accomplished. Dedication to, dedication to the task. It's going to be important and admired but if it works for its own sake or working for its own sake it can be counterproductive so at this time you need to be clear on what you're trying to do strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time the eight of Pentacles it can indicate a very very hard work period and this does not have to be a negative thing but you have to be prepared for it when this uh, Eight of Pentacles talks about love, relationships. Uh, it's about making a point to make time and space for the relationship, regardless of your jobs. Otherwise, the relationship, the connection, it's going to suffer. And if you're looking for love and you're si single, cancers, the appearance of this card, it's, it's, it's showing that you're really actually too focused on money and what you do for a living to really create space in your life for a new relationship. So you might want to consider your priorities and where your time and energy goes. And if you want love, just make sure you have the room, just make sure you have room for it. And I'm picking up that you don't. You do not. Because if you take a look at this picture, this man, he's working day and night. It looks like it's about to turn into night and um, he's going hard at it if you can see this I hope you can see this picture he's still going hard at it and he's even got his dog out there with him and it's raining it's pouring you don't have time looks like you don't have time for uh, a love life right now but let's see what the three of swords says now, the Three of Swords is about some type of sorrow, and the sorrow is undeniable. But what's on the other side of the sorrow? It's enhanced understanding and joy. So make sure you allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow, depression, or pain that comes up at this time. That way you'll be able to move past it. 
This card is about some type of deep emotional issue that you need to address before you can move on. If you deny this pain, it's not going to go away. It will not go away. So you have to allow yourself to prepare for any pain that comes up at this time. Make sure you don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only person, the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And other people, they will not be able to decide this for you. When this Three of Swords talks about love and relationships, uh, just know that uh, when it comes to love, this card, it's not the end of a relationship, but it does point to relationship difficulty and pain. So in order for a relationship to survive, both parties must be willing to work on it and talk a lot about the relationship. You could find that. So when you cared about they're not as loving as you had supposed. So don't take it too personally or dwell too long on any pain if this is the case. And I say that because you're being guided to a relationship that's right for you. You cannot force someone to be right or you cannot force something to be right. So for your present time, we have this Eight of Pentacles and Three of Swords, and it's basically a time for you to master your craft, possibly. Maybe you enjoy your work. You, you like it more than having a relationship right now. You're more focused on your money. The Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles mean money, cash, coins. So you're more focused there. Um, if you want to keep this connection or if you got a relationship going, you're going to have to try to find balance. But right now you have, you have a lot of passion for working. You're motivated for that. You, uh, you're motivated to make money. Uh, like I said, you could be mastering some type of craft. Um, so your relationship could possibly suffer if you don't balance it out. Balance work and the relationship. And because we got this Three of Swords there, um, you could be working because you're trying, you could be working so much because you're trying to bury some type of sorrow or, or pain. Sometimes, sometimes people, they, they over-focus on something to uh, cover some type of issue that they're having. So they think that if they focus hard on something else, it'll take away the thinking of something that they need to handle or take care of. So that's what it seems like you're doing. You're, you're probably burying yourself into work because you got some personal issues, maybe some emotional issues. Um, but just know, like I said, you cannot deny the pain. Because if you do, it's not going to go away. You can't bury yourself in work and think it's going to go away. you got to deal with whatever issues you got going on that could be causing you some maybe depression or grief. Yeah. So um, this could be your way of shutting out your person by um, just saying, I'm working, I'm working. You don't want to deal with some issue. Um, so there's some relationship difficulty at this time because of this. And that's what we have for your present time. Now let's move on down. Let's take a look at the person you're dealing with, how they see you, how they view you. They view you as the Empress and Two of Swords. Now to explain the Empress, uh, this person does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. That does not mean she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. The Empress, it signifies coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always be financially. 
There are many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is only one of them. But as the Empress Cancer, you can encompass any or all of them. When this Empress talks about love and relationships, this is a very, very potent time for love. Very potent. You could find that men and women alike, they're suddenly finding you far more attractive, both in terms of friendship and romance. And you're going to need to be careful with how you use this power at this time. Don't underestimate its potency. If you're single and you're looking for a relationship, then this is a time when true love, true love, could very well come your way. In fact, if you're single and not looking for a relationship, true love could seek you out anyway as this empress. Committed relationships, they often become sweeter, deeper, and truer under the influence of this empress. So there's a lot of power with this empress, a whole lot. And that's how they see you. They see you as having a lot of power in this connection. They see you as creative, abundance. Uh, they have a deep love for you. Because it's a potent time for love and this is how they see you. Yeah. They see this connection as becoming sweeter, deeper, more truer, or that's how they want it to be. Like I said, the Empress is very powerful. So there's a powerful connection there. And you may not even know that's how they feel about you, but they see you in a very big way, very abundance, and they could be holding it back. They're not letting you know. Because it's with this Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords, it's good romantically. Especially if you're in a romance that's already in existence. It can signify that your relationship will move to a lighter, easier, more balanced phase. With treating each other as equals. And if you're looking for love, it's a good time to take a hard look at yourself. And see if you have any any outstanding emotional issues that need to be dealt with. So, just know that a life partner, they do not complete you, but a life partner is like icing on the cake of your own completed life. So, do not look outside yourself for happiness. Then the relationship you want, it will come. So, once again... They see you as this imp empress. They have a deep love for you. Um, yeah, a deep love for you. And because it's with this two of swords, um, uh, they see this uh, connection going well. They see it moving to a lighter, easier, more balanced phase with treating each other as equals, or at least that's how they want it to go. So they really, they see they see this connection as good. They see they view you as uh, in a really great way, positive, and they want the connection to to become even more romantic, uh, more like friends, more lighter, more easier. So this is good how they see you. Now let's move on down. Let's take a look at how you see them. How you're viewing this connection. We have a moon card and the two of cups. Now the moon card is about being in a psychic intuitive phase in your life. Uh, so it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that all is not what it seems. 
If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So make sure you go with your gut instincts. Because like I said, your psychic and intuitive side, it's at a peak at this time. If you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may take longer than you would like for it to, to get the answer. So you're going to have to try to stay patient at this time. When the moon card talks about love and relationships, it can point to a highly emotional time in a relationship. Things can become heated, uncomfortable. So take a break. Take a break if that's what you need to do. Don't make assumptions. Fight fairly if you're going to fight at all. Make sure you pick your battles. And be sure to treat your lover like a friend at this time. Don't be in too much of a hurry to end or begin a relationship. This is probably not the best time for either course of action. And this is how you see the person you're dealing with. You see them as this moon card. You see them as being very intuitive. You could see them as psychic. Um, you could see them as wearing a mask in this connection because the moon card is also about deception. You, so you could see them as not saying how they feel. They're holding back. Okay, and it could, it could cause some uncomfortable, overheated, uh, maybe fights or situations. So there may be a need for a break from this connection. That's if they're fighting. But uh, you see them as holding back a lot of times. And that makes you feel like you can't trust them. Yeah, like you feel like they're wearing a mask. That's how you see them. That's how you, you're viewing them, Cancer. And because it's with this Two of Cups, now the Two of Cups, it represents true love. The Two of Cups, everybody wants the Two of Cups. It's about balance, partnership, commitment, all the things that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. However, this doesn't mean that you can just say or do whatever you want to and think that the relationship is going to last. It only means that it has the real solid potential for true love and affection. It's there with the Two of Cups. And if you're looking for love and you're singles and you're single, this is a signal that it's coming your way very soon. The Two of Cups, like I said, we all everybody wants the Two of Cups. So like I said, you're seeing the person you're dealing with. As just not being as open as they should be. And that they wear a mask a lot of times. They probably have a lot of time. They probably have a difficult time opening up. And you pick up on that. And it causes some arguments and fights. And things become overheated. Because you can't say so you probably like people to be more expressive. But they hold back. And you feel, it makes you feel like there's deception. But then it, we've got this Two of Cups there. The Two of Cups, like I said, it's about harmony. It's like that twin flame union. It's a deep, deep connection. Romantic love, there's a partnership. Possible proposal, marriage. So you see them as um, your Two of Cups. You see them as a deep connection. Yeah, this is a deep connection for you, Cancer. Um, there's a, you see them, you view this connection as a very romantic love. And you see that it could be turning into something deeper, pop, pop. Probably proposal or marriage or that's how you want this connection to continue to a, to a new level. But you see them as your two of cups. It, you, see, you see a friendship. There's probably a lot of joy there 
for you. And um, there's a lot of love there. You see them as as loving. So that's how you're viewing this connection. But they just need to open up. And let's take a look at why it's all happening. We have the Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Six of Swords is about movement, tr possible travel, a change in where you are inwardly. The change is always for the better when you get the Six of Swords. Always for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking about where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So take this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or change of scenery, it's going to be helpful at this time. Keep in mind, this does not have to cost money. You could just take walks around the park, go for a hike. If you're in California, beautiful California like I am, there's mountains everywhere. Um, when the Six of Swords that talks about loves and relationships, it can depict the need for a change of scenery. If you're already in a relationship, take your lover on a trip. It's a good time to do that. Even if, like I said, even if it's just down the street for a picnic or something of that sort. If you're looking for love and relation or relationship at this time, there's a need for you to get out of your normal routine or your usual search if you want to meet someone new. It's about exploring at this time. Exploring. So it's all happening because of the Six of Swords. There's a need for this, some movement in this in this connection or this relationship um, it will take this relationship to a better place um, it will make the relation feel, relationship feel like things are um, better than they were so there's a strong need for some type of movement there's a strong need for some type of change of scenery so, it's about some type of necessary transition that's needed in this connection or relationship. Uh, maybe move, maybe a move, a new, a new home, a new place of residence. But there's a strong need for some type of movement. It's going to bring about some type of resolution. Some type of resolution is going to come out of this movement. So, just keep that in mind. Maybe a, tr a nice trip is needed. And because it's with this Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Pentacles is about new beginnings on several levels. Several levels. And, and it, it's about a rise to new and better heights in relationships. It's about reconnecting in a relationship. And if you're looking for love, it's a very positive time to get out and meet people. I keep saying that. A lot of people don't do it. Um, but it's, it's a good time for you, Cancers, if you're single. Um, something new could start that's very promising in terms of love. So be prepared. Be prepared at this time, Cancer. But you got to, you have to um, uh, be out there meeting people and thinking positive and having fun, even if you have to pretend like you're having fun. But don't be too pretentious because people can pick up on that. So, once again, why it's all happening is because, like I said, there's some need for movement and it's going to bring about resolution in this connection. Some type of good resolution. Uh, it will take this relationship to being better than it was in the recent past. So, um, and because um, it's paired with this Ace of Pentacles, it's also going to take the relationship to a new and better heights and the two of you will reconnect because like I said the Ace of Pentacles is about new beginnings on several levels so it's going to feel like once you take this 
movement or a relocation or uh, some type of um, change of scenery once you do this you'll get all of this happening all of this new beginnings on several levels and everything will become optimistic upbeat and this connection will be more hopeful this ace of pentacles is is a great card to get in a reading because it's all about new beginnings but you need you, this connection needs some type of movement I can't tell you exactly which one but it, it needs a relocation a change of where you're living uh, just maybe a trip and then everything turns around everything feels new again on several levels not just one because the ace of Pentacles is about more than one new beginning and um, so that's why it's all happening so Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. If I don't get a chance to do the extended, there's always a link below for personal readings. I just want to say, Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope that you're enjoying 2020. I hope February is a beautiful month for you and your person. And I also want to say that I hope that you're having a great day. Once again, thank you for watching.